Lady Wellington, your fecal matter is abnormally dark. Oh, oh my goodness. This could be a sign of internal bleeding. Oh, but my stool is always dark. I take iron supplements and bismuth tablets, and I often snack on bits of burnt wood. How will you know if blood is the cause of the color change? Hey kids, we send a lot of these hemocult cards at work, but there's a few things you might not know about them. For instance, did you know that if you take two plastic urine cups and six of these hemocult cards to make an educational video for residents, you might get an email reprimand about it? Now in some hospitals, you just collect the stool specimen and send it to the lab. They run the test and tell you the result. But in many hospitals, you'll be expected to run the test yourself. It's not hard. All you do is flip over the card and apply a few drops of Hemocult Developer to the specimens and control test spots, and you wait a full minute. Any blue color indicates the presence of blood. Oh my! How clever! The problem comes with the developer because it goes missing all the time. People lose it, people hoard it, and without it, you can't run the test. Or can you? Hemocult developer isn't magic, it's just hydrogen peroxide and alcohol. If the stool on the hemocult card has peroxidases from blood products, the hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the guaiac and turns it blue. That's all there is to it. To demonstrate, I made some fake melana from some of my own blood that I found and some activated charcoal caplets. And I mixed these all together in my own glass with my own spoon. So here I'm applying the specimen with some rubber gloves that I bought myself onto a hemocult card that I got for my birthday. Then I flip the card and put my own alcohol swab over the testing window. I add a few drops of hydrogen peroxide that I paid for myself at the drugstore over the alcohol prep, wait a second, and then remove it. Voila! There's that blue color. Now it still works without the alcohol prep, but not as well since the peroxide foams up a lot more and you might have to squish down the bubbles a few times. The color change still happens, but you gotta remember to wait a full minute. So if you ever need to run a hemocult test but you can't find any developer, you can do the same thing yourself. Don't just take my word for it though. Test it out, but remember to get the hospital's permission before using any of their supplies or pay for them yourself. <coughs>